don't be shy. Talk about what you're doing. Talk about what's going on on the field. Talk about your passion for the thing that you're doing. Because nobody in this room is not passionate. We're all passionate about our industry. We all believe we're doing the best we can possibly do for our industry. If you're raising corn, the corn you're raising, I bet it's the best around. If you're raising hogs, you're probably raising the best hogs in the county. If you're raising cattle, you're raising the best cattle in the land. Even guys that feed Holsteins think that. <laughs> Bless their hearts. <laughs> and that's what we need to share with the rest of the world. We need to be able to explain that passion. And if we do that, we will change the way American agriculture will be regulated in the future. Because the only way we're not going to be able to meet this demand is if we're stopped from doing it. I don't think there's much likelihood of that happening, but we don't need to be slowed down in our quest to feed the world either. We need to tell the rest of America why we're doing what we're doing, why we're proud of what we're doing, and why we're going to continue to become more efficient and better producers. And if we tell that story, you tell it to your vegan, weird cousin, you tell it to the lady at church, you tell it to folks on vacation. You just tell that story, and it will have a ripple effect. And I know I'm here preaching to the choir, and I try to practice what I preach as much as I possibly can when I'm out and about in the world. And it's going to take all of us to make this message stick. And if we do that, we will have a very bright future for your operation, for your kids' operation, and for your grandkids' operation as we meet this challenge. So with that, I've given you an assignment, which I know you love to have when you come out for a free dinner. But get out there and talk to folks. Be excited about what you're doing. And good luck this winter and good luck into 2014. Thanks for having me come tonight, folks.